Welcome back, everybody. This is Mike Up or Shut Up. I'm Chris here with Angie, Reagan, and Bodie. Big dog, Bodie. Big dog. Don't forget my name. No, my no, name. that's your catchphrase. I was letting you do it. I was oh, letting you do it. Big dog, big dog. How y'all doing today? <laughs> I'm happy to be here today. Today is what? What's the day is? Today you know, is a very to? special day. It's a very special day. It's a it's a good day. We got a very special day for you today. <laughs> Damn special day. A damn good day for you today. <laughs> oh my God. It's all about the love. So the day that we're recording this week's episode is Bodie and Reagan's anniversary. 26, right? 26, 26. years. Yay. I've been married to this woman. 26 there was, years. There was a lot of people who didn't think that was going to happen. We've known each other for 26 years and six weeks. Correct. <laughs> That's so, right. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. <laughs> right. We dated for six whole weeks. That's correct. Don't forget that time. That time counts. That's right. Don't it count? I mean, every No, counts. it does count. Because it it's count. all hard. It's it not count. easy at all. People think, oh, I'm going to get married and life is going to be great. And I'm just going to coast on through. But that's not how it works. At and all. we're not like those people who say, well... We've been together for eight years. We lived together for four, and we've been married for two. No, no, no. We twenty six years, all of it. That's what we got. Yeah. Yep. Combined right. total twenty six years. We've been knowing each other. Yep. Married and living together. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They say when you know, you know. That's what they what say. What you wait for? That's what right? they say. Yeah. So when I met this lovely woman, I'm gonna talk to my bedroom voice. <laughs> hey, baby. In my bedroom voice. I knew the moment that I saw your beautiful face that I loved you and I was going to love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> you forgot to say make lots of babies. Oh, yeah. Is we it gay that I'm babies. aroused suddenly? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have been part of the reason why you married Drake and you did go on a date with him as well. No, I know I'm the reason because he wanted to hang out with me. But. Right. So not only have we been married for 26 years, you and I have been family for 26 years. Yeah, that's years. right. That's right. So it's our anniversary, too. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, baby. How you doing today? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Are you Joey now? Yes. Hey, look. You got to create a lot of content. Sometimes you got to steal stuff to, to fill in time, okay? Yeah, like it's a great show today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes you yeah. got to just borrow other people's I received a letter. Swag. I received a letter from the Hodge twins. They uh, want their catchphrase back. <laughs> they had enough? They had enough? I don't think they mind. No, nah, they don't mind. Yeah, we're they're promoting good. them. Yeah, I mean, we're people. promoting them in every they're episode. They're good people. As long as they get a couple extra clicks That's because it. of it, they're good. You we know? got we got to spend a couple of hours to come up with our own catchphrase. I'm telling you. Uh, mic right. up or shut up? No, that's not a catchphrase. That's a title. <laughs> a big dog. We, we can say fucking good show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it up or not. No, I don't do F words. <laughs> no, My uh, mother fussed at me uh, okay. for your F words. How well, about that? <laughs> luckily. I got, I got fussed at for not my F words, but for his <laughs> F words. Is that good? I think it possibly could have been my F words on the first episode. And I'm 50 it. years old. My well, mom still tells me, what's all them F words for? <laughs> well, she is your mom. She is. Chris calls them sentence enhancers. That's it. The F word is my favorite word in all of the world, <laughs> and it will be until I die. Except for when it's necessary. Then she has no idea that the F word exists. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was that too much information? <laughs> TMI? My not, bad. Not for me. I already knew. <laughs> you already knew. Because you, 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 you can tell, hear all the you time. Tell me, you tell me all the time. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were heard, hearing from the next room. Oh, you? no, no, no. I, uh, I don't want to. No. No, no, no. Not, not, not hearing no. out loud. So what about marriage? We've, we've been married 26 years, yeah. and you know that I thought that it was mostly impossible. What about you? How, what are your thoughts on marriage and uh, the, the institution of marriage? Well, obviously I believe in it, or we wouldn't still be married, because clearly it was not... 26 years of roses. No. Whew. <laughs> Absolutely not. We almost died. Oh, yeah. Fishing. <laughs> we did. Oh, that's another story we could tell. Yeah. That is a good story. <laughs> we'll do that another day. Yeah. Marriage has been hard and it's been good and both of the things together. One of my friends told me when he wished us happy anniversary today, he said, it's been a lot of tough challenges and it's been a lot of smooth sailing and he said the tough challenges just make the bond grow stronger 
I think that's a pretty good point. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard that guy ever say. Yeah. It was very philosophical, and I was like, who are you? Yeah, he's a good dude. He's a good people. <laughs> I like that guy. He won't know we're talking about him because he's probably not listening. But You want to say his name? You know care. who it is. I know who it is, but Do you? does he know who it is? Yeah. Does he know who he is? You think he don't know he's the one that said it? <laughs> I don't know, but there's probably 46 other people out there that have no idea, and they're probably not interested. <laughs> I don't know who said it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so, fine then. Well, we're not saying your name. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I know it's amazing to me that whenever people find out you're married and ask you how long you've been married, and you tell them, and they're like, oh, my God, how could you possibly be married that long? I mean, like, it blows people's minds. We're right behind y'all. We're at 25-plus yeah. years. Well, because yeah. nowadays it's easier to get divorced than it is to get married. Well, that's true. Yeah, people yeah. always ask me what it's like being married, and I always tell them, you know how when you're dating a girl, you know, you go on several dates, and then after you've been on, you know, nine to ten dates, you find out that she's a psycho bitch, and you're like, holy shit, I got to get out of here? Well, marriage means you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> marriage just means that you ain't getting out of here. That's, That's what it means. That's right. Yeah, you stuck. There's nothing different at all except for the fact that you ain't getting out of here. <laughs> it's okay. Right? You'll pay for that later. It's fine. It's hey, fine. have you ever heard the song by Luke Combs called Beautiful Crazy? Yes. That you describes have. my Hello. wife to a T. She is crazy. 100% <laughs> certifiably insane. But her crazy is beautiful to me. Oh, that's sweet? <laughs> they don't lead to the fact that they're the ones that make us crazy. Hey, I, I mean, told you that it was going to be right. lovey, lovey. No, I, I know, I, I know. I'm prepared for you. That's why I brought this doggy bag. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling all the love right now, let me tell you. Are you not <laughs> feeling the love? I don't know, but both of your posts on Facebook were super sweet. See? Like, super sweet. We love each other. He posted, like, really early this morning, too. Yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday? Yeah, I was yeah, early. Like, <laughs> yeah. I jumped the gun. Yeah, I posted very early this morning. He posted yesterday. A little, a little pre-posting. Yeah, yeah. Premature. You couldn't, you couldn't you know, premature posting? I do a lot of the you premature posting. You couldn't postings. hold in the posting? <laughs> couldn't hold back. She was like, wait, just wait. Just wait till the moment. Nope. nope. Okay, I can't wait. Too late. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little advice uh, to some husbands out there. If uh, you know you've been married for a little while and you're thinking uh, I'm a little bored, want to annoy my wife to amuse myself, get some of my married, I'll tell you what I used to do to my wife. But it only works two or three times, and then she catches on, and then it's not fun. But for the first two or three times, it's it's pretty fun. So we'll be sitting in the in the living room watching TV. Right, we get up. She'll say, "You going to the kitchen?" Yep. Well, when you come back, can you bring me uh, that can of Coke that's in the on the top shelf of the refrigerator, and I go, sure can. Walk into the kitchen, open up the refrigerator, look in, there's that can of Coke right on the top shelf. And I'll say, uh, I don't see it, where is it? And she'll say, it's on the top shelf. And I'll say, nah, I don't see it. Uh, maybe it's behind something. Like, nope, don't see it. On the left side, on the top, yeah, no, I don't see it. And then this continue for about five or six minutes until she's so frustrated that she gets up and she walks over to the refrigerator and right when she gets to the refrigerator, I say, oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> and this, Angie, is why I'm glad he's your problem now. <laughs> you know what? I ignore him now. Now, ask who washes the dishes. Woman. I told you not to say that oh, on the podcast. See? see, look at him now. Now he's not feeling so masculine, is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just wait till there's no podcast around and there's no witnesses. Whatever. Don't worry. I've some... seen your lacy panties that you wear. <laughs> They're pink. Fuchsia. Yes. I've seen them. And I've there ain't them. much material to them. No, no. Definitely got a thong. Well, I think we've discussed marriage enough. Look at that. <laughs> yes, indeed. No, you know what? I love being married. I'm not going to lie to you. I Me love... too. Yeah. Me Most too. of the time. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad we got married when we did because... Getting married today, I don't, I don't even know if it's possible with the crazy crazy women they have today. I don't know. What do you mean, like real women or women women? Well, in, yeah, any any female. <laughs> any female today is. Oh, I got is, you. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 no, women no. ain't oh, necessarily yeah, no. women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing you got to watch yeah. out for. You. That's a whole other level of. Uh... Which day do you think they wait till they actually ask? What? At what, what day, at, at what point when they're dating do you go, hey, are you a real woman or not a real woman? Right. Do you, Do you have, have a, a penis? penis? Right, right. When when is it appropriate to ask that question? I've never asked that question, so I don't know. <laughs> well, no, it's almost like it has to be done. No, today, it does have right? to be done today. You're right. Yeah. So it's like a 
first date, third date, tenth date? Like, when do you ask? I don't know. Or just right before. Sex? You know what, uh, listeners? Uh, if you know the answer to that, leave yeah, it in the leave comments. Yeah, leave a comment. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know if we have any women out there with penises. If you want to tell us when oh, it is appropriate to that's right. uh, that's right. reveal that particular stipulation or appendage to your dating partner, we'd be interested to know. That is a good question, though. I mean, it's not an offensive question. I generally want to know. Well, it may be offensive. Oh, it might be. People get so offended uh, so easily. We don't care about offense. <laughs> no, we don't care. No. I'm just saying she no. said it isn't offensive, My... but our goal is to be offensive, so we really don't care if it's offensive. Right. Yeah, we were... Uh, talking to she was facetiming her mother and uh so she we were talking about the podcast and uh, she asked me if you know i'd said anything that would upset people and i said well i certainly hope so that's what i try to do and she said well then aren't you worried about death threats and i was like <laughs> death threats from who gen z uh i don't think so because uh i'll fight 15 gen z at one time all right is anyone getting a little deja vu yeah i feel yeah, like we talked about no, this already this is the ep- we're redoing the episode that we uh, deleted. <laughs> oh we we did talk about this already but we didn't well we didn't yeah okay we I'm with it. this wasn't on the first one no no, no it, uh, now we're now trapping. you ruined it do, so now i'm not gonna talk about it brother they say do not talk about production <laughs> i'm gonna have to get you one of those no- yeah. do not talk about production well, we, was, did, we did discuss that it. That was a funny joke, but now it's ruined, so I'm not going to say it. Oh, you can thank Reagan, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You can thank Reagan. One less laugh this episode. Said, no, we heard you. We heard you. You take on 15 Gen Z. Yeah. Oh, but we don't know how you're going to defeat right. I had a, I had wait, a, I had a. Wait, Chris, Chris, please <laughs> tell me how you're going to defeat all 15 of the Gen Zs at one time. I would love to know. You know what? We're hanging on by I'll, Fred. I'll, uh, I'll, go ahead and, I'll go ahead and share it. Share it with me, please. So my game plan, well, I mean, first of all, your game plan to fight 15 Gen Z is we just knock fucking 15 Gen Z out with your big ass, but that's, that's a whole different thing. But since I don't have that capability, uh, my strategy is I'll line all 15, 15 of them up in front of me, and then when the ref rings the bell, I'll just uh, loudly declare that, that men are actually physically stronger than women. And then when uh, they all cup their faces in their hands crying uncontrollably, I'll just sucker punch them all. <laughs> Oh, 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 Reagan's upset. Reagan's upset. I'm not upset at all. It just it's wasn't not funny. funny this time either. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's trying to say that the second time that she heard it, it was not funny. Well, you know, if she wouldn't have said anything about hearing it the first time, it would have been the first time. I'm just saying it's, that's called that's called podcast magic. Except I didn't laugh the first time either. Oh, y'all are cute. It's funny, though. It's funny. He don't have no big dogism. In order to take him out, so he would just say something that would make them triggered, and then they would just fall over. I like how he. Oh, I get it. it. I like how he's explaining it to her. I oh, just didn't, didn't think it was funny. I thought it went over your head. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, she has no sense of humor. <clears throat> I can recall uh, when my dad used to be the manager of the local cable station, and so he used to get a lot of things, promotional material that he would then give to us. And one of the things he used to get was um. Way back in the day, the A and E channel used to have a, a show called Night at the Improv, where they would just show stand-up comedians, and he would get cassette tapes of the show. So he'd give them to me, and I listened to them. And I remember one time uh, he gave us a cassette tape of Night at the Improv and gave it to Reagan first. So Reagan, so I'm watching Reagan. She has headphones on. She's listening to it in a little Walkman. This is the both sides of the tape. I mean, never cracks a smile, nothing. So I'm like, man, that, that episode must suck. I put in the tape and I'm fucking rolling on the right, floor and right. holding my stomach. Right. So she has no Tears sense of humor. Yeah, down exactly. Your face so she just has no right. sense of humor. What if her sense of humor is different from yours? Yeah, it is. No. It I'm going to tell you this is this is a secret. Remember, I've been married 26 years to this woman. So I'm going to tell you a secret that nobody else knows that I've come to learn throughout my 26 years. She, when she thinks that you find something funny, she will intentionally suppress her laughter in order to try to prove a point to you that it's not funny. But if you find something unfunny and you're not laughing, she will be rolling all over the floor laughing. Trying okay, to but if it. I listened to it first, then how did I know if he thought it was funny? That Maybe your theory is wrong. Did, did Maybe my first? memory is wrong. Yeah, I think you To make the story right. work, my right. memory was incorrect. <laughs> Thanks for correcting me. Maybe I'm just hard to please. I have Ooh, good taste. Lord Jesus. I'm she not just, so 
Easy. Nail, meet the head, because <laughs> she got him right there. <laughs> You're right. You just have low standards. Oh. Okay. I mean, I can't argue with that either, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb shit makes y'all laugh. I just don't get it. <laughs> yes. Facts. That is facts. Yeah. That is no, facts. No, it is a scientific fact that women have a different sense of humor than men, which is why men find Three Stooges so funny and women do not. Correct. That is a scientific I think it's, fact. Wait, I don't know. What do you mean scientific? It's no, they've done study. studies on it. Who? They have done studies on it. You can't Men. scientists. You can't come in science, science and not quoting people's How studies. How many times you know? have I told you I am not going to do research <laughs> before this podcast? Okay, I'm not getting paid to do this podcast. I understand, I understand. This is just for fun. I know. We are unprofessional. That's right. We've been told a lot of things about how unprofessional we are. Let me just, I want to make a disclaimer. Can we do that? I want to let everyone who might be listening know that we are in my living room. There is no padded walls. There is no sound barriers. (laughs) Occasionally, you might hear a dog making noise in the background. We are not professional. We're just... Doing this because it's fun for us, and we're hoping that it might be fun for you, too. So, that's the disclaimer. Accept it for what it is. Maybe if we grow and we get bigger and we get more important, we might become a little bit more professional, but right now we're not. Oh, Just but what I, it is. I want to add something to that. Mic up or shut up, bitch. Right. If you think we need to be in a padded room, grab a mic. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> You guys didn't see it, but he grabbed his crotchetal region when he said that. <laughs> and we got to get some video equipment in right, here. Right, right. We got to take, next it, to step, right? take it to the next level. We got to take it to the next level. If you would like to see us while we're talking, <laughs> donate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay, boy. All right, so uh, you want to talk about teachers? Let's throw that out there. <sighs> okay, so... Um, I don't even know where to begin. In our hometown, I guess you would say, our area, a teacher has been recently fired because when a gay student was bullying someone, she called this gay student's parents, and apparently they didn't know she was gay, and she gave that information to them. So a lot of people were very upset because the teacher got fired for outing this child to her parents. My opinion is, if you didn't know this child was gay, you got some serious issues. Because I saw this child one time performing, and... Wait, 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 you gotta elaborate on the performing well, part. Well, they, they had a, um... I'm just saying. Singing show. Okay. Where they, you know, a group of children sang lots of songs, and it was very obvious she likes women just saying and if her parents didn't know then they were just completely blind to it and refused to accept it that's all there is so um you know a lot of people are asking is it okay for the teacher to have outed her or not i think it was because she was really just trying to protect people that were getting bullied And she probably, I don't know for a fact, but she probably assumed the parents knew. Okay, this is where you and I are in disagreement. I don't think student sexuality in any form should be on a teacher's lips. They shouldn't discuss it. They shouldn't think about it. Nothing. And it doesn't matter if the parents didn't know or did know or should have known. That teacher never should have said anything about a child's sexuality. Never, under any circumstances. I think it was in relation to the bullying, though. Well, yeah, but... mm. This is what I think. I think that if a a teacher wants to bring it to the parent's attention, there should be a mediator involved, like a principal, vice principal, somebody in charge, and then they should discuss it with the student if they're okay with it. And I understand that she was being... Like, she was bullying people, but I think that outing a student can be very detrimental to their mental health. That's well, what I think. From what I understand, she wasn't trying to out the student. And she actually was trying to do the student a favor because instead of just, you know, here, go to the principal or, you know, you get in, in trouble. She was trying to handle the situation mm-hmm. and herself be a mediator by going to the parents to stop the bullying 
from she's, the other students. She's fucked up. And, yeah. And the parents flipped out because she mentioned that the child was gay. And I, you know, I think, I, I think they could have corrected the mistake. Hey, we can't do this. You can't, you know, mm -hmm. we, we need to put this across the school system. This is not allowed, but I do not think she should have been fired. I think this was a special situation. Well, I think that no teacher should ever be discussing sexuality with children and about children. That First off, I don't even think that teacher should have known that information, right? And if the teacher knows, how does the teacher know? Did that child tell the teacher but didn't tell her parents? If that's the case, then the parents have a problem bigger than the fact that that child's gay. Correct. Right? Secondly, there's I can also see certain situations where it's not possible to not say. Like, what happens if a Betty Jo teacher has to call up, you know, Susie Q's mom and say Susie Q and Jenny was scissoring in the back hallway? Oh, Lord, you know sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you have to tell them a situation like that, there's no way not to reveal that information. Correct. If if the if the sexuality was a major component in the behavioral issue, then it has to be revealed. It can't not be, right? Well, and that is my point is it was somehow involved with the bullying well, with, with what was being said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand what you're saying. I just I think that these days <laughs> sexuality is way too over discussed in the classroom. In general, I agree with you. In mm -hmm. general, I definitely agree with you. But I don't think she should have been fired when really what she was trying to do was help. Yep, I think she should have been fired. I'm on the. Well, she was fired. So well, there you, there, go. there you go. My side won. Well, how, how did but, you make that decision? Do you know if no. they were scissoring? No, I don't know Wait. if they were scissoring. We need to stop talking about underage uh, girls scissoring. I just want to, I just want to uh, put that out How do you know she wasn't 18? We don't, we don't know people's ages. I'm pretty sure we she wasn't We don't know people's so, ages. But my, next my thing is this. Oh, I'm sorry. But how she responded to being fired. From what we hear from Tam, oh, from your daughter, I almost said her name out loud. Sorry. Oh, you never Sorry. Really forgot who it is. <laughs> Sorry. From how it was, she responded to it was shitty. Like how she outed people even more. Well, that's not open for discussion. But I do agree with you that the her response to being fired was she definitely went the wrong way about that. Mm -hmm. Once again, the best way not to get fired if you're a teacher. Don't discuss student sexuality ever. Okay, so let's go. Right, Th that's true. That's true. B but if, and, and I'm going to say this because I'm the father of a homosexual child. If you're a parent of a child like that, you know. You already yes. know. You know way ahead of time. So the fact that maybe this teacher just saw something with her eyes that the parents should have seen years ago. She probably may have assumed that everybody already knew. I looked at the girl one time and I knew. Right, I'm telling you, there ain't no way. I don't think we know details know. is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, apparently a lot of, from what I have heard, a lot of students confided in this teacher. This teacher was the, the one to go to when you had a problem and mm -hmm. had issues yeah, and a, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm on the firing team. No, no. So we're, <laughs> we're done with that issue. Let's, Flip it, because a, a big problem in today's society is schools that are not telling the parents anything. So, in other words, if um, Susie goes to school and wants to be John and says, you know, I'm going to dress like a John would and I want to use John the boys' bathroom and, and I want to be called John, but... The school is not going to tell the parents anything. So the parents don't even know they're using the opposite sex's bathroom, you know, maybe dressing in the other dressing room as opposed to their own actual sex. How do we feel about that? Because I don't think that's right at all. Well, I think that there is a great possibility that the student that wants to change their sexuality was probably influenced by the school system to begin with teachers promoting that foolishness because that is so rampant today 
teachers promoting homosexuality and trans to kids is it's a, it's a plague. And so I would I would assume that that student is doing that because they were encouraged to do it well, by teachers. All, I don't think all students are encouraged that way. I think some students genuinely don't feel right in the skin they're in. But I also feel that when I'm in, when I have a child in first grade, you should not be talking about sexuality to my child. You should not be letting my child decide. Oh, I want to be John. You don't even know how to use the bathroom fully. Well, I you also know? don't think that um, John can say he's Jane today, so he can go rape a girl. Exactly. In the, yeah. They, exactly. No, I agree. They I should, agree. They, that's foolishness. Where they let them go into the other gender's bathroom. Right. Nope. And just because they say that, because yeah, that, that, is that is actually that is did out. happen at two schools. I know. He did it at two different schools. Yes. Indeed. A trans male did rape two. No, no, he wasn't Not a trans school, male. He was, literally just said, I identify as a woman, and then went in the bathroom and right. raped girls. Well, yeah. He only See, said that to so have access. That's wrong. See, what they should do is, uh, to, to stop all this foolishness, instead of having those little pictures of a person or a person with a dress, they should have a picture of a dick and balls and then a vagina. <laughs> and if you have a dick and balls, you have to go in this door. If you have a vagina, you have to go in this door. Problem solved. The, the medical term is penis and testicles. Well, I'm an adult, so I say dick and balls. Yeah, but you said vagina. Right. Right. You said dick and balls and First vagina. All, I they didn't, don't match. I didn't say I wasn't a hypocrite. I just said that I was going to say dick I and balls. I was surprised you didn't say twig and berries. I mean, I, I would I would have been on your team had you said cock and balls. I didn't uh, I didn't realize this episode was going to be about trying to make me look bad. I would have called out oh, sick. You didn't know? Oh my bad. We should have filled you in. It's definitely make Chris look bad day today. See, the previous episode you were always right. Today, you're always, you're wrong. always wrong. Yeah, yeah, I think I prefer the previous episode. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I don't, I want you to know, had I been in the bathroom, whenever this dude walks in and says, I'm going to rape girls in the girls' bathroom, I would have done like I was on that uh, power slap show, and I would have <laughs> slapped shit out of him. <laughs> Pow! That's what I'd have done. What kind of noise would have made? Pow! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd have done. Let, well, you, what? Since you bring that up, let's segue into our next segment. Slap fight. Uh, we're we're too scripted. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's All no right, Karen. <laughs> oh, Karen. What is the male name for Karen? Do you Chad. Think? Kevin. No, it's Kevin. It is Kevin. Chad. Chad. No, Chad is a guy. Yeah, who Chad is like seduces uh, women. It, really? Yes. Okay. I thought Chad it's was not? like a pro. Like I'm good at everything. Chad. Giga Chad. What did you say? You got to the say male, the male version it. of Karen might be Alex. No, it's <laughs> that's an inside joke for everybody who's not Alex. <laughs> oh Lord! I don't know anybody. This by is that what name, happens but... when you criticize our podcast. You get called out on the air. No, no, that doesn't. That's not a thing. No, actually, All criticism thing. is welcome. Actually, that's constructive. Not, I'm joking yeah. around. I'm joking around. Actually, uh, since. We got a lot of feedback from the last few episodes we did, which we want. We want feedback. And one of the things that we were criticized for was talking too much politics. So we are going to tone that down, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about politics very, very little. Right. Sparse, you know, very sparsely spread out over many episodes. So every once in a while there might be something we can joke around about, but we're not going to do any more political episodes, which sure. is why we had to reshoot the last episode. Um, but... We do not care what your political affiliation is, what opinion you have, if it differs from ours. We don't care. You let us know. If you think we're wrong about something, let us know. This is a democracy. Right. It's a free country. Say whatever you want. Everybody's welcome to listen. We're here to just make people laugh and have a good time. Like the little old lady. Unless thing. your name is Alex, apparently, then uh, we're not down with it. We're not down with it. <laughs> That's inaccurate as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we do appreciate the feedback. We've been getting a lot of it, which feels good. People are saying certain things that need to change and need to be fixed, and we're working on them. That's you right. Know, we're, 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 we're gonna, trying to we're make gonna try to improve. And, yep. and I mean, some of the stuff has been negative, but I feel like it's been constructive. Right. You know, right. for the most part. Right. Well, what I like about feedback is it means people are listening, mm -hmm. and that's the important thing. We want people to listen. So, 
Do oh. not talk about production. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're poor. We're doing the best we can, okay? Right. Joe, Joe Rogan so is not sponsoring us. This Dana White slap fight? I have Joe, not. what's it called? Dana Power, White's No, it's called Power <laughs> Slap. It's not Dana White's. It's nothing. It's called Power Slap. And it's a sport. It's an actual sport. There was a whole big well, uprising. Explain what, for the general audience that doesn't know what we're talking about, because we both, I think all four of us here in this room, all five of us in this room, love fucking slap fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't love it. You don't it. love it? Well, I like watching I it. Love it. Yes. Just, I love it. I enough. love it. I love it enough. I'm not for a big both violence, of like all oh, kind of violence Lord, stuff. I love the UFC. Yeah. Me, I'm not, explain I'm, so, explain, yeah, I'm not explain what slap fighting is. Explain so what slap fighting it's, is. So it's two men or two women or two. Anything really? Two dogs probably could get at it if they I wanted. See, to. I saw a woman with two midgets. Yeah, two midgets. What, can you say midgets? Uh, I just little did. People. Little people. I just did. We are. We already discussed that. We don't care if we say things that people it's, don't want to hear. It's little people, sir. Whatever it is, uh, two midgets. They can let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, so you stand arms length away from one another, and you get to warm up a couple of times, and then you just draw back as far as you can, coming from down under, and slap. Tar out of the person standing in front of you. But you got to keep your feet Open flat hand. on the ground. Yeah, feet flat Open on the ground. Well, that's the thing. There's rules in the Dana White slap fighting power slap super slap show, right? But there's not rules in regular general like yeah. a lot of the stuff. So there was a big uprising saying that it was absolutely absurd, this sport, because people are getting concussions. People are getting hurt, and there's like a serious brain damage, TBI, traumatic brain injuries. Wait, like, are we talking about football? No. Oh, okay. Did you just say <laughs> bad things about the sport football? Did Go you, ahead. You could, that's... I'm just saying. You see the correlation there, right? No, I don't see any correlation. All right, there. go ahead. Okay. Continue. So anyway, they had to put some rules in play. So Dana White says, I'm going to put this little sport together. And we're going to get with the Nevada Gaming Commission, and we're going to put some rules in play. So you have to have both feet square on the ground, a certain distance apart. You have to announce what hand you're going to slap with. You have to announce on what swing you're going to actually make contact with the other person's face. And then the other person can't move, no flinching, and you also can't hit them with your wrist or any other part of your arm. It has to be fingers only on the face. And you can't hit them in the ear or anywhere further back past the ear. So there's there's some other rules that apply. Yeah, and the person can't try to avoid the slap. They got to take it full on. That's right, right. Oh, and there's a time limit from when you get slapped to when you have to recover to stand back up. Oh yeah, because they get the crap slapped right. out of them. They get the they get the soul <laughs> slapped out of well, them. Well, some of them fall asleep. Oh yeah, yeah they yeah, fall asleep. You go, they fall you go night night. That's what I love about it. It's like <clears> watching <throat> boxing where. Every every single shot. No is blocks. A, yeah, right. No blocks. Yeah, it's just a full no on, defense. Yeah. Just full offense. Yep. I love that. My favorite is two for flinching. If you make the mistake of tensing up when they slap you, you get to be slapped again. Yes. You get an extra lick yeah. because I flinched, which is great. Because you already caught the first one. Even though you flinched, you still caught a lick. Right? That's right. That's right. Now you got to catch another That's one right, right back to yeah. back. That's Whoever right. thought two for flinching would be used professionally? <laughs> right? I don't know, I but it. I know one thing for sure. It's ignorant. The people that participate in that. Who hey, thinks, that's hey, I'm going to go stand in front of this other grown-ass man, and I'm going to let him slap me as hard as he possibly can, and then if I'm still awake, I'm going to slap him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this was the crazy thing when we were watching it was it's all down to a coin toss, really, because if you're first to slap and you knock the guy out, they never even get a chance to slap you and you win. Yeah, yep. that's true. Coin that's toss true. really determines a lot of it. Right. What I, there's a famous um, fight that, that took place. Well, it was actually it was a tournament because it was multiple fights. There's this guy, they were, they were Russians, right? Because they didn't speak English. I remember that. Well, was, they must have was, been Russian. No, no, no. Well, yeah, no, no, no. English, but I think, I think, I think, I think, the... I think they were Russian though. But uh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I want to go back to the. I, I know they had to be I want, Russian. I want to go back to the previous English. episode. So, you know what I'm talking about? Is that short guy with the beard? And uh, oh, he must wait, be wait, wait. Oh my God! Oh my God! 
marriage, <laughs> marriage, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You are not marriage. doing well today, my friend. <laughs> you're married. You are not doing well. I think I'm going to be sick so, next episode. <laughs> so, so short guy with a beard. You know the one where his face got fucking disfigured from. I'm pretty sure he got oh, permanent the side, damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. He like got, his whole side of so, his face looked like he got so hit this, with a brick. Yeah, this wasn't the biggest guy in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to talk about that, too. So many topics to cover. So, uh, he went through a whole tournament getting the piss slapped out of him to the point. I mean, his face was just swole up. Like, I mean, it looked like somebody fucking altered his face on Adobe Photoshop. It was swole up so hard. And uh, like he, he had, had the monks yeah, I mean, on the right side. <laughs> right, right. He had elephantitis on the right side. So he ends up going to the final round. It's just him and this other guy. And the other guy is way taller than him, too. And so you can see whenever that dude's getting slapped, every time he gets slapped, you're thinking to yourself, please, Jesus, let the match in because this guy can't take much more. Right. But he was it, man. He did not quit. I got I to get That's the toughest motherfucker I've ever seen because that guy that was slapping him had some power. Yeah. And his face was already disfigured before he got to that guy. And he and he was still awake. And he was still awake. Still and he rolling. ended up winning the tournament. Wow. Yeah, the, yeah. I mean, I kept thinking, Jesus <laughs> Christ, eventually he's just going to have to give up. Unless maybe his face was so numb, he couldn't feel the slaps. I don't know. That's, That's crazy, how he pulled man. it off. But, yeah, he ended up winning that tournament. And uh, look that guy up because you won't believe what his face looked like. It was unbelievable. So we just Googled a Russian guy with the yep. beard? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Is that That's how we how Google That's how, short. short Russian guy That's with the beard. That's how Google works. He doesn't speak English. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to try that right here. While we're, while we're live, well, Googling we look up the slap short Russian guy with a beard. Figured, yeah. Oh, so, you know he was Russian. Oh, <laughs> found it. <laughs> Bam! Thank you. Good job, Thank Angie. You. I look. I am a master at Google. Okay. You haven't Googled anything. I don't have to because I already knew what it was. His name. His name was Soren Kamza. Was whacked by a devastating blow by Alexandru. I can't even say the last name. We're going to say Alexander G. But remained on his feet. You see, you see, what's interesting about Google is that while you googling and I'm googling at the same time, I found Vasily Kam- Kamatsky, and you found a whole different dude. You're talking about this guy, though, right? I don't know. That I'm is not, the guy. I have yes. no idea. All I know is that no, this a is short the guy Russian for, guy with a she beard. She found the correct guy. She found so the I googled guy. short Russian guy with beard slap fighting, <laughs> and I get Vasily Kamatsky. I didn't put Russian in. Maybe he got slapped so hard he gave the wrong name. Oh, you didn't but put he, Russian. Correct. Or are you Googling all wrong? What if he's Polish? <laughs> well, he only won $7,800 for winning. That's what? it. What? He got disfigured for $7,800? <laughs> that guy's an idiot. Oh, yeah, because plastic surgery is expensive. Is yeah, that there the is. <laughs> that is not the guy. <laughs> no. It is a shame that people can't see what is happening because it would be funny. But right, that is not right, the guy. Right, like, right. We have really got to get video. Wait, we can post pictures on our Facebook. Well, that's true. Oh, we yeah. Should. We should. Yeah. oh yes. Yeah. Yes, we are now uh, on Facebook, so if you uh, like to follow us on Stop Facebook, it. please do. Um, we're also on uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, Audible, and Radio Public. I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Them. I'm just going to throw that out there right away. Let where we are so yeah. they can check yeah. all the information yeah. out. Keep updated. Watch. We post some of the videos that we've discussed. We put on the Facebook page so you can watch them, see what, uh, what it is that drew us to those videos. <sighs> absolutely, <Jeez>. absolutely. <laughs> we're you? also on X, I yes. think. Yep. Yep. Or Twitter, if you're an old folk like myself. I wanted to be on Triple X, but uh, no, she no, wouldn't let no, me. No, she no. wouldn't let me. That's a show you're going to have to do by yourself. <laughs> it's a show that not everybody it could help. It could help the podcast, though. It makes it mm-hmm. more popular. I'm just saying. Well, that's it. That's people it. Yeah, will we have more. pay to stop it or pay to keep it going. <laughs> one or the other. You're going to hold them hostage. It still counts. It still counts. It still counts. That's right. Yeah, well, we're gonna be on, we're gonna be on some more platforms, but uh, we're just getting started, so right, so right. Just... We're spreading out a little. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. You gonna do the drug talk? Yeah, I have right. um, a little something that I think about a lot. Bodie and I usually talk about it when we're watching TV. All these drugs that come out, the commercials are always stupid, but they <laughs> always list a ton of side effects. It makes you wonder, why would anybody ever ask for these drugs? Correct. So I have listed, you know, some of the side effects, just for funsies, I guess. For funsies. So, funsies. Yeah. So uh, it usually goes something like this. 
diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, headaches, hiccups, weight gain, loss of teeth, loss of hearing, loss of taste, vaginal discharge, gonorrhea, chlamydia, rectal bleeding, increase in libido, erectile dysfunction, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of homicide, homosexuality, Bisexual. <laughs> Wait a minute. A drug sound effect is homosexuality? I'm pretty sure you wrote that down wrong. Wait, I'm not finished. Bisexuality, bipolar disorder, obsessive comp compulsive disorder, and of course, death. But remember, do not take the medication if you are allergic to the medicine. So you must have to have ESP to know because it's a new medicine, and how else would you know? Oh, shit. And what is that medicine to treat? Usually one of the symptoms it causes. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite side effect is anal leakage. That's your favorite side effect. <laughs> yes, my, my favorite one. <laughs> I love it. I love anal leakage. <laughs> it's just great. <laughs> I'm still confused on which drug causes homosexuality or bisexuality. <laughs> It was just an example. It was an STD. It was an example. I don't recall ever hearing that as a side effect. I think it's called Viagra. <laughs> I mean, I, I was just showing you the realm of the range of possibilities. Yes, I think right. some of those were made up, but uh, I mean, you know, you don't, you don't know. No, I don't know. No, it's possible. But have you but heard I, the commercials though? Right? I ha I know exactly what you're saying. It's, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because this medicine is to give, like, oh, you have a, a headache. Here, take. Flow Sertrin. <laughs> Flow Sertrin. It works in such a short period of time, and it's so great. Side effects include you might die or want to kill yourself. Right? Yep. And but you have a headache, wait, and it's gone. Or they include headaches. Right. Side effects include yeah. headaches. <laughs> or nausea that makes the headaches oh, worse. It's just Big Pharma. We can't oh, talk about that. Disclaimer, that wasn't why, a real drug. Why can't we talk about Big Pharma? We it's can talk political. about him next episode. Oh yeah, oh. but no, no, no. If we don't, if we don't say Donald Trump or Biden, then we can get away. Oh, with it. is that the rule? Is that the rule? I'm pretty sure that's the rule. <laughs> can I'm we say sure. Ramaswamy? Yes, we can because that's my guy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm losing faith. I was with you for a minute, and we were gaining steam, gaining. Now I'm. I'm I, I I'm, just gotta mention I'm this one thing. I'm falling off. But we're not going to talk no, about it. No, we're not going right to talk now. about it. We'll politics. talk about it another day. That's it. I just want to mention this one thing. So, this young guy comes up to me and says, You know, look, I listened to it. I thought it was funny. It was great. It was a little too political. You might want to come back, cut back on that. And then he goes on to have a political discussion with me. So, I thought, Okay, this was weird. But anyway. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, don't talk so much politics because my politics are different from your politics. Yeah, that's usually what it amounts that's to. That's usually yeah. that's usually the way it boils down. Yeah, but they weren't that different, which was odd because well, you don't want to hear it, but you want to talk about I it. I think as we discussed on a couple of episodes, people are stupid. <laughs> people you are all, definitely stupid. However, I think that when people grab something like this and they want to sit back and have a drink and listen and just you know they don't really they they're trying to escape the normality of every day. Yeah, that's right. This so podcast, they don't necessarily yeah. want to dive balls deep into sure. that type of situation right. when they're trying to relax a little. They don't Maybe go, that's the situation. They don't want to go balls deep into Trump. I feel yes. you. I feel you. Correct. <laughs> or Ram the Swami. You know, one or the other. <laughs> so but we do welcome political discussions because you love talking oh to people God, who, oh, who, are, who are opposite, I love who are discussions. Democrats or yep. independent, you know, or... Libertarians, you love having those conversations. I do too. Look, I got, you respect uh, me, I respect you. Some of my best friends have completely retarded ass views. <laughs> right. And we have discussions all day long and all the time. And uh, um, Well, one of them, you have discussion and he has a heart attack. Uh, there's dead silence because nobody yeah, I don't know fuck who, was going I've never on right known now. anybody except for like people that I don't, never knew anybody that had heart attacks. Well, not a literal except heart like, attack. In other words, he. Oh, I you thought you meant a literal heart discussion attack. Discussion and he yells and yells no, and yells. No, it's actually not been that way lately. Oh really? Yeah, wow. it's been. That's crazy. We you we grew up? we agree to disagree, and it, it that's works what out you're good. Supposed that's to the do. way it's supposed that's to be right. done. That's you know? right. It's called being an adult. Yes. Adulting, it sucks, but you got. And no matter how hard we have tried. We are still balls deep in it. 
aren't we? <laughs> we are. We are. We but are. I mean, <laughs> it is who we are at our core, though. 12 I mean, inches, ladies right? and gentlemen. Right? Right. <laughs> Elbow deep, even. Right? There we are, yep. Very, oh, very good. Elbow deep. Okay, next episode, I'm going to tease something. The next episode, I got, a, I got an elbow deep story. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I want to hear it. You got to tell it, man. All right, all right. So, <clears throat> so oh, God. I'm, uh, I'm working as a bellman. Oh, I got uh, an elbow deep story, yeah. too. So, I'm working as a bellman. Me and this guy come in at 7 a.m., and we relieve the night shift guys all by himself. The night shift guy was homosexual. Right. Okay. I'm, oh this, my this, God! Yes. Yeah. I now you know the story, the story I'm talking that, about. Yeah. There's anything wrong? No. With there's no, nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with it. No, this, wrong with this it, actually but, does play so, into the story. Yeah, that's right. It, it actually does have to do with the story. So, so uh, me and the, and the guy coming in in the morning shift, walking to the bell closet, <clears throat> and the night shift bellman is talking to one of the valets. So we just walking by, going to put up our stuff, get ready for the day's work, and as we're walking by him. We hear him say, yeah, that's night I watched a movie where a guy fucked a horse. So, of course, we both pumped the brakes, <laughs> backed up a little bit, and I said, uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> what did you just say? Yeah, I was like, Pardon you me. saw a video of a guy getting fucked by a horse? And he was like, yes. And I said, how is that even physically possible? And he goes, well, you know, it's like just sticking your arm up there. And I was like, no, I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> no. And this is something that happens. I mean, uh. It's not an experience, and I believe that's criminal, just in case you're wondering, <laughs> right, yeah. in the state of Louisiana, what he is speaking about is a crime. <laughs> and we do not right. condone this. Right. That's correct. <laughs> it's called bestiality, just in case you're wondering. Right. So what's your uh, arms deep oh, the story? Well, you know, my wife gave birth to twins. Yes, I do know Oh, that. Jesus. Oh, so Lord. when she was given birth to twins, it was a emergency birthing room type situation. Yes. Basically, in the OR, in case they had to cut her open, I was fully surgical geared out, hat on, little fluffy booties, and I'm sitting in this chair right behind her head, and they have a screen up that's probably, I don't know, around her chest area. Sure. And it goes up so that I can't see anything that's happening below her chest. So basically, it's just my, me talking to my wife's head. And they have a television screen that I can look at with an ultrasound of the babies. <laughs> so I'm having a conversation with my wife. We're talking, and she's pushing, and she's breathing, and she's delivering babies. And we've been through this. I think this was the second delivery that she had. Yes, however, I want to mention, I cannot see the screen. No. She can't see the screen. Only I can see the screen. So, uh, they're having some type of complications. After the first baby is born, my first twin was delivered. She was perfectly healthy. They moved her off to the side. Everything was okay. And then they go to start the delivery on the second one. And they're having some complications. Second twin doesn't want to come out for some reason. She wants to stay where she's at. She's <laughs> comfortable. Obviously, she shouldn't have wanted to come out because they were 14, 14 weeks, weeks. 14 weeks right. premature. Right. So they're starting to panic a little bit, and I'm still just trying to keep my wife calm at the head. And I'm looking at this ultrasound screen, and next thing you know, I see a hand, a full-grown man's hand in the ultrasound screen. And then the hand becomes an arm. And all I can tell you is that this arm is elbow deep into the ultrasound screen, reaching and grabbing for the other twin's leg to try to pull it out. Oh. And that's when they I got kicked out of the room. Yeah, because she was in my ribs. <laughs> like she, yeah, that's she how, was so she was high up. High. The, Holy the doctor shit. was elbow deep trying to grab her and pull her out. Yeah. So that's my elbow deep story. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks, TMI. <laughs> Breathing 10,912. Do you mind if she tells that story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you mind? Do I have your permission to tell that That's story? That's yet another yeah. reason why I don't have kids. <laughs> what? Who? Yep. Best decision we ever made. Yeah, yeah that was trust. the one, Pound man. It out. Pound it out. No another, kids. Another part of marriage, though. No, that is another marriage part of marriage. Married with kids. Married with children. Oh, can we say that? Yeah, but of course, <laughs> nowadays, you don't even have to be married to have kids. Cause yep. No. That's the norm. That's okay. People do what they want. You don't tell other people what to do. 
Nope. Just like they don't tell me what to do. Yeah, the biggest downside to not having kids is uh, you have to do all the chores yourself. You can't force them to do it. See, y'all were smart. You had seven kids. So six. Uh, six kids. Seven? Why no. do I say seven? Where's the ghost How kid at? How old are you? Let me tell you something. Are this, you suffering this show, from hey, dementia? This show is not scripted, and I'm old. Okay? And apparently we can't re-edit things because then you call it out. So, right, right. Yes. Yeah, no, is. you can't fix it no. because we're going to let you know that you said seven. There it and is. there's actually six. So before I say anything else that uh, you guys are going to make fun of, I think. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. Do you have fun. the kid I don't know about? Oh. oh. Whoops. Let me Whoops. think. Whoops. Whoopsie. No. Boy. It, it, it's possible. <laughs> I can't even remember. There were a couple of close calls, I have to say. But no, I don't think I have any other children. Okay. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm glad we got close, that out of the way. Right? Yeah. Close. Well, <laughs> the white sweat off your brow. And now it's time for everyone's favorite uh, part of the podcast, and that's movie recommendations. I know everybody's just been sitting waiting to hear uh-huh. my newest movie. Everyone's favorite? Everyone. That's, that's, that's what I've We're going to do a poll. <laughs> Literally, on the bottom of this episode, there will be a poll that says whose favorite segment of the podcast is the movie prediction. We also should or do a wait, poll. We have to figure out how to word it. No, sure. we, we need to do a poll. How many people actually watch the movies he recommends? Well, that'll be later. We'll figure that out. First, I want to know, is the movie recommendation segment your favorite segment of the podcast? Yes or no? That's what we're going to we'll do. We'll do it. Yeah, we're going to start doing polls every week. We have one for last week's episode. Correct. And so we'll do that from now on. I think that'll be a fun thing to do. We'll come up with a... Uh, I uh, love last week's episode. That's right. The poll for that one was, does Chris know everything? <laughs> so when you're finished with this episode, check down below, check for the poll, and make sure you give us your honest to truth as answer. There it is. Yep. Honest All right. to truth. All right. Go, go so, with your here we go. Here we go. Drum roll. <laughs> All right. So the movie this week is Noises Off. Noises Off. N-O-I-S-E-S. Noises Off. Came out in 1992. It's an all-star cast. You know, I like movies that have a lot of big stars in it, ensemble people. This is, in my humble opinion, the funniest movie I have ever seen in my entire life. Straight up. The funniest movie I've ever seen. It stars Michael Caine, Carol Burnett, Denholm Elliott, Julie Haggerty, Mary Lou Henner, Christopher Reeve, John Ritter, Nicolette Sheridan. I mean, it's just an all-star lineup. I see two of those okay. people I never heard of. Well, that, yeah, who you never heard of? I don't even know their names because I never heard of them. Oh my God, you're killing me. <laughs> who, John Ritter? I think it was the third and fourth person, maybe. John Ritter was Denholm Elliott. You, know, yeah, you don't know who Denholm Elliott is? No. You ever see uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark? Yeah. The he's Indy's friend. Yeah, he's the professor friend. Who gets him? Who he brings the artifacts to? Yes. To get oh, money. The old be, guy. Yeah, the old yeah. guy. I thought yeah, that was okay. Sean Connery. That's his dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I recommend movies. This is why I recommend movies. And the other one I bet is Julie Haggerty. You don't know who her, her name is. Right. Yeah. She is uh, in the Airplane movies. Oh, that's why I don't the know her because those the movies are stupid. This is why I recommend the movies. Once again, I cannot believe you said the I Airplane actually do movies. Like airplane movies. I would like to go on record officially as saying the Airplane movies are fabulous. Right. I like those. Absolutely I do like that. hilarious. Right. Tears running down the face laughter. So Go check them out. Once again, this proves my theory. Reagan has no sense of humor. Or she intentionally tries or to she not tries laugh. To, yep, there it is. There it is. <laughs> so this movie is a... Uh, I don't know why you're staring at me that way. So this movie... <laughs> That's the look that I get for 26 years. <laughs> that look right there. 26 years I've been getting it. In six weeks. The well, point. the first six weeks was the honeymoon period. Right, yeah. That's when we loved each other. <laughs> the plot of the movie is... Uh-oh. Oh, here's where the unprofessionalism comes in. That's all right. You're grounded. Go to your room. So uh, one of the uh, one of the Wait, one of the seven which, kids just came home. <laughs> what number is this reason not to have children? <laughs> Ten thousand nine hundred and seventy two. Yep. So one of your kids disrupted our podcast by coming home. So we're gonna have words with him after the podcast. So right. it's not gonna happen again. Never come home. It's not home gonna again. happen again. Yeah, get out. <laughs> so the the plot of the movie is that uh, they are these people are trying to put on a, a play. So they're rehearsing. It's like the the day basically. It's like the night before the play's supposed to open. 
their final, you know, final rehearsal. That's when the movie starts. And so what happens is uh, you get to see the play, you know, different different stages of the play as they as they perform in different times until they get on Broadway. And so it sort of allows you to see the entirety of the play, basically, you know, throughout the entire movie. And what happens is uh, there's a lot of infighting. People, you know, fall in love with this one and the other one gets jealous because they're in love and relationship. And so what happens is they all start trying to sabotage each other's performances because they're they all get mad at each other, you know, tying each other's shoelaces together, sort of trip, shit like that. And and it just becomes more and more complicated the things that they do to each other. And in this movie is just full of gags. And a lot of the stuff is is sight gags. You know, you got to watch the TV because so much is happening at one time. He, things happening backstage as they're performing at the same time, and it all interlinks. And I swear to Christ, it is it is the funniest movie I've ever seen. Now, you have to get past, like, the first 15 minutes of the movie where they're sort of setting up all the characters and what's happening. But once you get past that, I mean, it's just nonstop. It is just, it's fucking hilarious. Well, that doesn't follow my rules of movie. You know, I have rules. They have to blow up. If I can't be interested after the first 15 minutes, then no, no, no. it's not worth it. I'm not saying at. the first 15 minutes aren't interesting. I'm saying that the movie doesn't really kick in. Like, it's, as the movie progresses, it gets funnier and funnier. And the first 15 minutes is sort of like the setup. So even though there's jokes, it's not like it, like there's a point where it's just full on joke after joke after joke, and it, I, I, I mean, and I, you're just grabbing your stomach. Exactly, crying. No, he cries. Yeah, cry, he I, yeah cries I literally cry. Not watching in a sad way. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is the funniest movie I've ever seen. I, I'm going on the record right now. It's the funniest movie I've ever seen. So I like it. Yep, I like it. Noise like is off. Movies. Noise is off. Everyone. Noise is off. Yep, I'm with it. All right. Well, I think that'll about wrap it up. I just want to say that uh, if you guys like what we're doing here and we'd like us to can can we'd like us to continue. Man, this yeah. is just not my <laughs> night. Just save it for this the is session, not please. my night. Oh, TMI. It's marriage. It's marriage, baby. It's, uh, That's part of it. He said That's part if you of would it. Like us to. <laughs> <laughs> It's your anniversary. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make here is, uh, whoo, man, I wish I would have called out sick today. <laughs> so we, we. we have a support button that's in the... Uh, <laughs> that's so great. Yep. Support button in the description of the episode. Click it if you'd like to support us. Other than that, uh, we Yeah, will... make sure you leave us that five-star review. That's it, yep. Find us on Twitter, X, Facebook, Spotify, Audible. Radio Public and Audible. Audible. Oh, Amazon. Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon Music. Amazon yeah, because some people claim they don't want to do Spotify because they pay for Amazon Music. Aaron. Well, there you go. Now they have no excuse. <laughs> they have to listen. That's they have right. to listen. And now we are on all of those platforms with more to come in the future. So check us out. Make sure we put us a five star review. If you think that, if you think it's worth a five star no, review. No, no, no. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I want you to put five stars even if you don't like the shit. Because you, if you don't like it, you're not going to listen again anyway. Well, that's true. So you, so put five stars on that yep. shit. I think if they've gotten this far, yeah, five just stars. Put five. Just, yeah, just click the five. What's it going to hurt you? It's not like it takes it out of your that's pocket. That's true. That's true. You don't have stars in your pocket. Get, you know. <laughs> come on. Stars. Unload them stars, Go, baby. Well, where did <laughs> I <pull> from? <laughs> I'm just saying. That's the way it ought to be, right? That's it. I like it. I like it. So Good advice. So I think yeah. uh, episode six is over, Finished? and uh, that's it. All, All right, right. Well, big dog out, <laughs> big dog out. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Goodbye.